Day of Sexy One Revolution Part 2. And I'm still shooting guys. In the face. Aha. Saw you too. They were very good in concert. It's a U2 pun. I am so original. When I said welcome back to Deus Ex Human Revolution, I should have said welcome back to cutscenes. Okay, it's the beginning of the game, it's excusable. This isn't like... Hours of cutscenes. That was get boring. That's one hell of a backhand. Uh oh. Aww, that was cruel. Probably not that thick considering I went through it. And that looks questionable. Come on, Anna. Stay with us. Uh, yes, in case you couldn't tell gold is a motif in this game. Or motif, is that even the right word? It's a colour scheme in this game, the primary colour scheme. Some self stealing. No. Some self stealing stem bolts. Self stealing? God. I love you. Did you get stem bolt or just decide to wander off? Haven't you lost enough people? I'm stealing myself. I'm sorry. I highly doubt it somehow. From the end of this cutscene? God, I hope. We can rebuild him, we can make him better, faster, stronger. I thought so. Uh, telecom package from O2 or Virgin? I prefer O2. Much better. Deus Ex Human Revolution. Again. Read books? What am I, a genius? <laughs> yes. Pocket secretaries often contain passcodes or computer passwords. Very important. So important I actually said it twice. What the hell? <laughs> what do I have to buy the deluxe package to get more information? Okay, I think I'm just going to cut out the load times. That was ridiculous. Big bro. Oh, I see what you did there. I know that was not a meme reference. You've got a little something in your face. Oh, okay. That was cool.
Adam, it's David. You in the building? Uh, probably. Just entered the lobby. Yeah, I guess. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Yeah, and I can't see, so deal with it. Okay. Finally, there's some actual game. Well, okay, there was actual gameplay, but now there's more actual gameplay. And if you couldn't tell, I started actually having a format to my videos as an introduction and an outro. Instead of me just cutting the video, then restarting it. It looked terrible. I'll be the first to admit that. Wait, do I have to? Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, I actually want to do this better than I was before. Does my health if I actually go the right direction the first time round? And yeah, I'm trying to be less boring, so I'm actually trying to, you know, talk a bit. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Yep. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Top right. left. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Damn those electrons. Those free radicals. So we'll actually save people. Oh yes, physics jokes. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough... Oh yeah, said, shift the blame. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacor, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. Elliot? Oh. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. The Mexicans have their own town. This is truly is progress. Francis, they will confuse you. I mean, seriously, this far through the second frickin' part, there's still no stuff going on. But Megan, God love her. Ah, uh, it's the beginning of every game. Sarah's here is going to still annoying. More violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Okay, I can move now. Excellent. Let's close your door because I'm polite like that. Do, 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 do. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? It's like right there, man. Calm down. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. It doesn't look like a chopper. It's got no blades. I like blades. I like Welcome chopper back, blades. Jason. I'm not. Don't I don't think we'd knife see you around here for a while yet. Normally, usually. You know how it goes, Malik. Hmm. Duty calls. Don't I know it? I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you. I don't know what any of that means. Six months short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Challenge accepted. Are you suggesting I'm not? Just asking the question. I was one of the ones who pulled you out of that mess. Not a memory I want to relive, and I don't have to wake up to the reminder of it every day. I'm fine. If you say so. I do say so. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraf wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. Let's get high! Very good cutscenes. Uh, 
I'll load screens. Okay, if I was a good Don't person, I skipped that load scene. Roof. If I didn't, I then the oh scene you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Yeah, that was the explodey thing with the balls. Adam, I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam, so he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want right to handle Right through the stamen. First priority is the typhoon. Because it's a plant. Keep it swat out until you've secured okay. it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? Okay, so here's where you make the choices that dictate how you're going to play the rest of the game. And there are so many. I mean, I mean right now it's lethal and non-lethal, which basically equates to a generic first-person shooter or a stealth. But there is more in-depth, because you can sort of combine the two of them. But I tend to go for non-lethal, but unfortunately that's the choice that's going to screw me over later in the game, and I'll get to that. I'm not looking to start a firefight in there, just neutralize them. Okay, but just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance, or up close? Oh, let's go for distance. Give me something with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Where's he taking them? Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Right. So I got a remote detonated explosive. An exclusive mission only available will be unlocked later along with an automatic unlocking device and a grenade launcher. Sweet. 10,000 credits, a silent sniper rifle, and a double barrel shotgun. Now I only got these through Steam. Uh, came with the game. Gentlemen, prepare for landing. And yeah, I went for stealth and it gives me a shotgun. <laughs> On the upside, it does give me a sound sniper rifle. That's so useful. How come? How come some of the graphics says B E E and then the others say B E eight? You think those things would kind of be constant, considering it's the markings of a plane? Yeah, whatever. So yeah, shotgun. Sound sniper rifle. Frank rifle. And these guys have got don't shoot these. Yeah, I'm just gonna play with the tutorial thing now. Whee! Hey now, if you do that, you have to be very careful to not hit these guys because the slightest twitch will set them off and they will kill you. Nothing you can do. Oh, it's also a very good idea not to immediately go pick up everything you can because your inventory is, well, it's pathetic. There are extra columns and rows, um, yeah, extra columns here, but you can't access them just yet. You need upgrades. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? Entry point we there. have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Totally do it right now. But no. So yeah, as he says, there are 
two different routes in the building. You can do the frontal assault, which is going around there, which is only really a good option if you're either very good at stealth, or you're doing the full frontal assault. Or, you can go up there. Up the ladder and into a back way. Obviously, oh, since this is a stealth run, I'll be taking the back way. You may or may not do a companion run for no stealth in the future. Probably you won't. But yeah, whatever. If it happens, it happens. Yeah, everything seems under control. No sign of SWAT. No sign. Pow! Oh. Hey, first thing to note is that when near enemies, always be crouching. Because for now, unless you're crouching, every step makes a noise. And if you make too much noise, you'll alert the guards and then you're kind of screwed. Obviously. I could let you watch the stealth tutorial, but nah. I kind of want to play the game. I've seen the tutorials. Yeah. And yes, you can also either quickly incapacitate a guard or kill them. Killing them is louder. And yeah, that, that's just for fun. Yeah, killing them is louder. So, you know, don't do that. Unless it's like, only them. Because you don't really particularly want to alert everyone else to a dead body. On the other hand, there are times that if you knock them out, and they get found, they get resuscitated. Which is not an ideal situation. Oh shit, a run over. Uh, part 3, Venrat. <laughs>